say it's officially Dopey Weekend now. Yeah, it's only Wednesday, but Expo's today. I'm coming during the day because Sarah's got to come work the Expo for ACS later. So I'm here to pick up my bibs and shirts and see the Earhart's. Anybody else I can say hi to and just bask in the glory while I'm on my extended lunch break here. So I've never been here this early, but the line to get the bibs went throughout the baseball diamond. And now we're about to get in the building and I think it's about a 10 minute walk once I get in the building. Carolyn's should be about to, about, about getting her bib now. Okay, we're in. I'm just gonna get downstairs. Oh look, they got Orange Bird out. All right, I broke out of the main line and now we're on the floor heading over to Dopey. So I have to get my bib and then I have to go over to get my Expo shirts, which is gonna be another probably like 15, 20 minute line, but part of the Run Disney fun. All right, just left the Air Hearts. And our buddy Matt got my shirts, big old thing. Um, so this is the first time I've ever come this early. Usually I come after work around like the six o'clock time, even on this first day, because you have to if you're running dope because you need your bibs before 5K. And uh, it's never been that wild and busy. I didn't even take too many shots or look at too much at the expo. Um, I'm not about the expo merch, never really have been. So I would prefer to never come this early again and just come in the afternoon. It's a far more enjoyable for me. Got to walk up to the bibs before, got to walk up to the t-shirts, got to peruse the merchandise at the expo because I like the expo booths. I don't like like the official Run Disney merchandise in the other building. But it was good, they ran well, but it was just like line after line. It felt like a Halloween Horror Nights night, kinda. But the shirts are cute, I'll show you them in a little bit. Um, got Kral's DNC, it's kind of expected something like that to happen with, I ran, I got a proof of time for Wine and Dine, but the proof of time deadline was already here for pretty much the rest of the season. I don't have a proof of time technically for Dopey Weekend or Princess Weekend, because the deadline's already passed by the time I ran Wine and Dine. So, but next next running season, I'll have that proof of time and hopefully just get faster and faster this year. Because that's the plan in 2024. There's a special report from future Peter to past all of you. Because I forgot to fill my shirts and I already ran the 5K many hours ago. So that shirt is dirty. So you'll just have to come to the next vlog to see the 5K shirt. But here are my bibs. If you're doing dopey, you wear two bibs, two for five, one for 5k, 10k, one for half marathon, full marathon. Um, I got some dopey bib boards, which I love because they don't puncture holes in the shirts from my friend, Matt Bowen. Check him out on Facebook. He does a lot of like custom run Disney stuff that he sells and got some really cool jackets, but here we go. We got the 10k tomorrow, which is what I'm getting prepared for tonight. Chip and Dale, classic half marathon. Donald and Daisy. This is quite arguably my favorite shirt because I love the color. The full marathon represented by Mickey and Minnie. These are all long sleeves with this nice maroon champagne looking color. Love it. Then when you run the half and the full, you are completing the Goofy's Race and a Half Challenge, which I like that color as well. And then the cream of the crop, the one to take it all, the Dopey Challenge. So a classic purple shirt, very dopey. Um, that's the lineup this year, plus today's Pluto 5K, which was like a yellow. So very bold colors this year. I like them, pretty simple, but but very rich. So actually, it's probably one of my favorite setup of shirts. Um, I wish a couple of them were short sleeve and long sleeve because I can't wear them all, all year, most of the year down here. But that's the shirt haul right there. Boom, boom, boom. Good afternoon. I am now back at the expo. Just me. Um, I am hanging out with ACS for the next two hours. Um, here we'll like meet up with the runners that are on the team, give them ribbons or other swag or other just things that they have to pick up from team determination. I'm out of breath. I'm not, I'm not the one running this weekend. Um, so 
I will do my best to show a bit more of the expo. It's a little chaotic for Peter this afternoon, and so I'll do my best to show to show more. Well, I did not show you anything of the expo. I love our ACS family getting to see them and catch up. Time just flew by. It actually is later than I thought. Um, but I'm actually meeting Carolyn for some dinner at the boardwalk. And so I wanted to prioritize time with her um, over going into the expo. But I will be back tomorrow. I'll also be back Saturday. Oh, tomorrow's Thursday. I'll be back Friday. Um, so yes, sorry this is not a traditional expo vlog. as well as going to Disneyland. Basically like since Christmas, since we could like breathe after Christmas, um, we just knew that this weekend was gonna be chaotic regardless. And so like a lot of the things are falling together, but there's also just like loose ends that need to be tied up. So like we are like our, our friend who's watching Eve while we're gone, they're coming over tomorrow. I have a fetal echocardiogram for Charlie because he's an IVF baby and I don't think I've mentioned this, I don't think we vlogged during like after his anatomy scan um, that there's been like a new um, guidance basically that suggests IVF pregnancies have this extra look at the baby's heart so we're doing that. I don't even know if we've talked on here that we're having another boy, we talked on the live stream but yes, we're having a third boy and this is Charlie. Um, so like today, like we just had to get some things for that. Um, and like I got to see the Earhart's. We're kind of navigating how we're gonna share um, their children now. I don't know, it's like just, it's such foreign territory for us that we're still, we're just figuring it out. So we hope you enjoy anything that we share. Um, and so I just had a really nice time with them. We got dinner at the deli and then we ate on the lawn and watched Encanto and just caught up and it was really, really nice. The weather is like 64, it's really nice out. Um, so yeah, I'm about to head home, but I just wanted to like catch up on what just happened. Um, also like if you're interested in running with ACS, I've always been meaning to say this recently, like please always reach out to us. There's a lot of times there's a wait list for bibs for Ren Disney, but sometimes there's not. Um, we'd love to have you part of the ACS team. That's sort of like the role I play with like the community is like being another point of contact during the race weekends here. And so the expo is always just so nice. Like I said, we give out complimentary cheering supplies to everyone on the team. And that's kind of what the expo is for. It's for people to pick up those supplies, but also to just meet in person and share where we're going to be cheering throughout the weekend um so if you're ever interested in more of like becoming a part of team determination um raising money and raising advocacy for cancer always reach out for that so those are two kind of things that i wanted to say before the end of this video um i know the boys are in jammies and we're gonna head at like basically get ready and go to bed. Christina's spending the night so that I can go to the 5k tomorrow. But just in case, because we're guilty of not picking the camera up again, like when we're at home, um, I just wanted to, to share those couple of thoughts. So thanks for coming along with me tonight. Felt good to have, have at least, at least shared a little bit that I did. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>